Victoria, would you call yourself an animal lover? Definitely, which is why it's heartbreaking to hear about any animal suffering or being neglected, just like the woman in our first story who's doing her part to try and help. Angela Wellburn of Chester Basin, Nova Scotia, is the founder of Integrity's Haven Equine Rescue Centre Society, or IHERC. IHERC is a farm for senior, sick or abused animals. Angela takes in the distressed animal, nurses them back to health or rehomes them, and if necessary, gives them a forever home. Halifax's Laura Bain recently travelled to IHERC's farm and discovered an animal sanctuary that is very much a labour of love. Basically what it boils down to, Laura, is I want them to die with dignity. I want them to die knowing that somebody loved them because a lot of these horses come here, they've been abused or neglected. At iHerc Farm you can feel the love from Angela and from the animals. All eight saddle horses, three miniature horses, three rescue cats and six dogs by all appearances seem to be very happy to be here. My barn doors are always left open, so it's up to the animal to come and go when he or she likes. It's an idyllic life that is a far cry from the harsh lives many of these horses have led, like Dreamer. She was one of 18 neglected horses. So when she arrived, her front feet, her back feet as well, but her back feet have come around. Her front feet though, uh, were literally worn right down the sole of their foot was worn right off. Her feet were in really, really bad shape. With Coco, Coco was a five-year-old standard bred who was kept in a farm in Pugwash along with others. Uh, certainly not an abuse case, but very neglected. IHERC is also home to a more unusual rescue, a zonkey. So hello, Laura. This is Zelda. You can pat her. Zelda was saved from slaughter by an animal lover in Halifax. Then uh, she contacted our farm and said that I rescued a zonkey, but I don't have a place to put her. <laughs> Would you be able to help? She's a zebra hybrid, which means that uh, Zelda is man-made uh, by using a zebra and a donkey. Angela's rescue center started when she was in search of a companion for her own horse back in 2001. I went to actually purchase a horse and that horse had severely hurt me. Um, within minutes of even approaching the horse, um, he had thrown me against a wall, um, dislocated my shoulder. Um, he was quite violent. She decided she wanted to rehabilitate that horse she arranged to buy him just in time. The horse was on his way to be sold for meat. So I paid to have that trailer U-turned. I got him and the passion began. Today that horse, known as Freedom, is alive and well here on the farm. He's gentle, wouldn't think twice about putting a two-year-old on him. He's fantastic. He just needed someone and that someone was me, I guess. <laughs> yeah. What's your mommy called, Zelda? Whoa, who's that for? Angela doesn't keep every rescue she takes in. If an animal is sick um, and I can make it well and it's young enough to be rehomed, then it's rehomed. If it's an animal that's going to re remain on medications or it's been injured and the chances of having longevity are slimmer, then they stay here. Angela works full time as a business manager in the city. She looks after the animals mostly by herself with help from volunteers. It can be hard going. The toughest part, of course, is losing that animal. Is losing the animal. And Financially, I guess, is be the second toughest thing. I mean, it's expensive to take someone else's animal and try and make it happy and give it a healthy life. But the happy animals contentedly eating hay in this paddock make up for any heartbreak or hardship. Angela says her mission is simple. A safe haven, a place to die, and to live out their retirement years with dignity, full bellies, love. It's worth it. It's worth, it. it's worth getting up every morning at 4.34. It's worth staying up until 11 or 11.30 out in your barn for. 
It's the only passion I have in my life is helping animals. Wow, the sanctuary is amazing. Angela is doing a fantastic job. And to think, she's not only running iHerc, but holding down a full-time job as well. I'm blown away by her compassion and commitment. As am I. And what about Zelda? Laura mentioned that Angela had a zonkey before the shoot, but I must admit I was a little skeptical. I'd never heard of a zonkey before you. I hadn't heard of one either. <laughs> you see, Laura also tells us that Angela's herd is about to grow. One of the miniature horses named Abby is set to deliver a foal in early June. Oh my gosh, a miniature horse foal. I can only imagine how adorable that would be. If you're interested in learning more about iHerc or keeping up with the new additions to the farm, visit Angela's website at integritieshavenequinerescuecenter.ca.